Okay, so this is a little tutorial uh, on how to do a bit of GUI stuff in Codename 1, just to get your head around some of the concepts. And here I have a design which I'm aiming to make, and I'm, whoop, and I'm going to put it at the side here and just refer to it as we work. Now it's this design here, so you see we have a name, text field, password, text field, cell, text field, email, text field, sign in button. And um, I'm not going to do the top and the bottom because they're going to be done in separate times and, and just paste it in. So right now I'm only interested in how to make a little login screen with a couple of text with a couple of labels and text fields and a sign in button. Simple as that. So here we go. Create a new form by by clicking add new add a new GUI element and you call it uh, login form. Uh, it's got a background by default because of its UUID, which I want to change for now. I just want it to be white, so I'll change that to form login. That UUID there specifies the style that you want, and there is no style for form login, so it's just generated the default one, and I'll be able to choose it later. I'll be able to customize it later by clicking on this, which I'll show you in a bit. But I want to try and make this less than 10 minutes, so here we go, right? I'm going to make an initial container. And I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'm going to take another, make another container. So I'll click the container twice, and there's the container there. Now uh, I'm just going to change the UUID to something unique, just so it has no style. Uh, and I'm going to make it a table layout. These are very useful table layouts, indeed. And I want two rows because I want the one for the label on the left and, and the one for the text field on the right. And I want one, two, three, four, five row, uh, columns. Oh, sorry, I want five rows and two columns. I have one column for the labels down the left here, and one column for the text fields. And why five rows? Well, there's one of them, two, three, four, and I might as well use one for the sign in button at the bottom because the positioning is going to rely on it. So you click OK. And you can't see anything yet, so it's a bit confusing, but things will add in order. So if I click label now, that's a label in the first cell. Again, uh, I need to change its UUID because I have previously defined the label to be like that. So let's just call them XXX. It's unique, right? And a nine on the end. And I'll copy that for the other ones. I mean, I need to do this a bit better, this, the UUID stuff, but uh, I haven't really uh, only just got my head around it very in the last day or two. And now we make a text field too. And that looks close to what we want, but actually, because of the word name uh, is shorter than the word password, these are all going to get moved along and they won't be, late, they won't be in the right uh, position which is why I used a table layout, so I can go to the first one, label, and say I want you on row 0, column 0, and I want you to take 30% of the width. And there you go, it's moved it. Let's put some text in there so we can see what we're talking about. Aim. And you can see that the width of it has not changed based on the text, which is obviously what we want. We don't want any text in text field, and we want to explicitly tell it to go to um, row 0, column 1, which is just one after the one we've done, and we want to give that one 70% width. Right? It hasn't changed because it's already taken up 70%. And now we don't want the, we want the main container to actually be centralized. Um, to do that we will for now, I'm just going to get the one above our main container, border layout, and then I'm going to give container one's constraint center. Now that didn't do anything. Um, border layout, border layout, border layout. Absolute center. There's a way to get it sitting in the middle anyway, which is which is what I want. Nope, that's not it. All right, let's make this a floor layout. The line center, the line center, and enter. All right, that's a floor layout. That's a tail layout. So inside the floor layout, we'll make another layout. 
I do a lot of this. I have to make layouts and put them in other layouts because things rely on the parent layout. So now we have a floor layout, holding another floor layout, holding a table layout. Okay, this is not going to work, is it? Um, the layouts are brilliant if you really understand them, but if you get the pet one, you need certain parent layout to get it all to stretch. Oops, I just click RTL with all that. So I think a border layout will do it. Why is that not doing it? Border layout. Nope. Ah, ha. Okay. For some reason you have to make the top parent a border layout. I'm sure if Shai's watching this, he'll be, he'll be screaming at the screen here, but um, <laughs> this is how it's working so far. But it is working. Um, and now in this container, the main table layout, we can go to uh, style unselected. And this is one of my favorite features of Codename One. You can specify a percentage of the screen size to use as a padding. So we're just going to say four here. We don't really know. Um, actually, what am I doing? I don't even need padding, do I? Um, Okay, I do need some padding, not on the left. Okay, on the top we're going to give it 1% of the screen size, and on the bottom we're going to give it 1% of the screen size. Okay, so that <coughs> is pretty much it for that row. And because we have the table all set up, uh, we should be able to copy these two by right clicking copy, select them, copy, paste them into the same container. And then they appear underneath. Uh, I think I selected them in the wrong order. So we'll just drag them into the right order. <coughs> and there we go. Now the most crucial point of this entire thing is that when I type the word password, it still lines up. The text field to the right doesn't jump. Things do change there because of the length of the word password, but uh, we don't really care about that. So select label, copy them again, right? Paste them again, and do the same again, and then change uh, that to cell, that to email, obviously we could give them all nice names and stuff, but we don't really need to right now, and right at the end we'll whack a button in, or we'll whack two buttons in, uh, because that one is going to take the space, so I don't know how to get around this, but I'm going to put in an empty label basically. So we drop the empty label in. Uh, and we don't even need to do anything because of the way it's been stylized, but let's just uh, give it no text anyway and change its um, UUID in case we get confused later. I know I'm doing that in a messy, crappy way, but now we have button and now we can put uh, sign in on that button. Oops, that's a UUID, but we need the text. So how do we make that button smaller? I do not know. I will mess with that in a second, probably by putting it in its own container. But because I'm coming up with the 10 minute mark anyway, I'm gonna call this, and I'm gonna end this, and I will do some more in the future. And I won't release this one for a few months anyway until this project is finished, so I'll be a lot better then. But uh, in conclusion, Codename One can make making certain UIs very crazily easy. Earlier on, I made a, a beautiful uh, grid-based photo gallery using the image downloader service in no time at all, just a, a grid of four by four images. I did the same thing in Android uh, only a few months back, and I've been using Android for years longer. And trust me, it took me days to get it right, mostly due to that lovely download mechanism where things get updated. Anyway. Thanks for watching, Code Name One Rock.